Hello, this is Information Service Engineering, lecture number one, Natural Language Processing. In this part of the lecture, we are going to discuss some linguistic basics one should know before start building any application in uh, natural language processing. So first of all, what is linguistics? It's the scientific study of language and its structure. And it highly involves an analysis of language form, which might be phonetics, syntax or grammar, language meaning and language in context. So now, what is natural language processing? Since we are talking all the time about natural language processing in this lecture. So it's the field of uh, computer science, artificial intelligence and computation linguistics, which is concerned with the interaction between computers and human language or natural language. And in particular, it's concerned with programming computers to process and understand large natural language corpora. Well, the specific task here is then to extract meaningful information from na natural language input or to produce natural language output. And let's check now what is phonology. So phonology is concerned with the systematic organization of sounds in languages. It can be the abstract or grammatical character characterization of systems of sounds. And this should be at all level of languages where sound is concerned to be structured for conveying linguistic meanings. The more, uh, one of the more uh, important components in phonology is the phone. So phone is any distinct speech of sound regardless if this one uh, is uh, responsible or critical for the meaning of a word or not. And then it comes phoneme, where on the other hand, phoneme is the smallest sound unit uh, in a language which is able of conveying a distinct meaning in a word. So let's see the difference that they have in a real example. So here we have S and R, where those two are phonemes. Why? Because when they are used in the words sing and ring, they completely change the meaning of those words. And then again we have another example, which is double S and double L, which again are phonemes, since in, the, since in the words kiss and kill, again they change completely the meaning of the words. On the other hand, here in the last example of kiss and kill, the character I is a phone, because in none of the words, so, because when it's used in both words, it doesn't change the meaning of the words. And then comes morphology, which is the study of internal structure of words and how can they be modified or how, what is the relation they have with other words. So in morphology, it have, it, we have the parsing of complex words into their components. These components might be the stems, the roots of the words, prefixes or suffixes. In this part of the lecture, we are not going to go deeper in morphology since we are going to emphasize on it in uh, the next part of the lecture. But what is important here to keep is the question, what is a word actually? We keep talking about words in this lecture, but is there a formal definition of what a word is? And then the answer is yes, it is. So word or WI is the smallest independent unit of language. And what independent means? It means that it's not dependent on other words, it can be separated from other units and can change position. And all this by keeping its meaning. So let's have an example here. So we have the sentence that says, the man looked at the horses. And let's analyze the unit horses. So the last character of horses, S, is actually the plural marker depends on the word horses in order to receive a meaning and it cannot stand there in a sentence alone. While on the other hand, the unit horses is a word since it can occur in other positions or stand alone and keep its own meaning. And then we have the vocabulary. So what is a vocabulary? A vocabulary consists of a set of words and then is the way that we have to communicate with people, exchange opinions and transfer knowledge through our vocabulary. And then we have the text. So the text, a text is compound, composed of, uh, of a sequence of words from a certain vocabulary. So here on the right part of the slide, we have a piece of text composed by words from an English uh, vocabulary. And the language in the end 
is formed from all this together. So it's constructed of a set of all possible texts, which are uh, sets of words based on a certain vocabulary. So in this lecture, we analyzed some of the basics uh, in uh, linguistic. And in the next one, we are going to emphasize of morphology and the morphologic analysis of words.